Welcome to the world of Polygon. Specifically, today's discussion will focus on quadrilaterals. Uh, I have subdivided quadrilaterals into four. I have a rectangle, rhombus, kite, trapezoid, and trapezium. A, a rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. A rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. Under the two is a special parallelogram called a square. A square is both rectangle and rhombus because of its characteristics. A square is a parallelogram with four congruent sides and four right angles, making it become a rhombus and a rectangle at the same time. Now let's go to kite. Kite, trapezoid, and trapezium, they are not parallelograms. Definition of a kite. A kite has one pair of consecutive sides congruent. Not parallel, but congruent. A trapezoid has one pair of sides that are parallel. The other pair are not parallel. A trapezium is an irregular convex quadrilateral that has no sides that are parallel nor congruent. So just for illustration purposes, a parallelogram, just a general drawing for a parallelogram. This is the drawing that you will see whenever somebody refers to a parallelogram. A rectangle would be looking like this. I just emphasize the parallel um, sides. They don't have to be emphasized in the drawing. Uh, what's supposed to be emphasized are the right angles. In a rhombus again, both uh, pair of sides are parallel because it's a parallelogram, but the most important description is that the sides are congruent. So a square will be looking like this. So I have the following illustrations here. A kite would look like this, and based on the definition, it has one pair of consecutive sides congruent. If you're going to take a look at this, there are only two, um, there are only four sides so if a pair of consecutive sides are congruent it follows that the other two will also be congruent it has to be the consecutive sides the difference between this and the trapezoid is the trapezoid is one pair of opposite sides parallel this one is a pair of consecutive sides congruent so i hope you see the difference now um these are the two drawings or the two illustrations for a trapezoid. This one right here is a non-isosceles trapezoid. It's just the regular trapezoid. This is an isosceles trapezoid. Now, what is an isosceles trapezoid? An isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid with uh, the legs being congruent. These are the legs right here. The non-parallel sides are the legs. The parallel sides are called bases. So we have two bases. This is a base and that is another base. A trapezium is an irregular convex uh, quadrilateral and has no parallel sides nor congruent sides. This is an example of a trapezium. Let me go back real quick to our parallelogram. This parallelogram has two bases as well, the one that is below here and the one that's on top. Those are your two bases, and these two are called the legs as well. Okay, so that is it for our topic of quadrilaterals. If you have any questions, please feel free to refer back to the videos or ask me. Thank you.